Hey there, friend, and welcome back. My name is Sarah Rusk, and I am feeling pretty good today. We're kind of a little bit all over the place today, but for the most part, we're feeling pretty good. I've been doing a parasite cleanse and um, coffee enemas, and let me tell you, they are two things that I had no idea that I really needed. I feel like I have a youthful body and the mind of uh, an adult. <laughs> so pretty much how I felt growing up as a teenager and this incredible, beautiful brain that has been serving me well for the past year <laughs> because I've been working with it. Um, I, am, I am so like not swollen in my abdomen anymore and I have not had that for a very long time and I've been able to think very clearly and for myself lately and the depression, the depressional fog that I have been going through recently has lifted. For the most part, it has lifted. And while it has lifted, it has brought about it some insights into my beliefs and how I think and all that fun stuff, some of which that I'm going to talk about today with the hopes that it serves you. The stories that I share, I hope, serve you, friend. First and foremost, thank you so much for being here. And I can't thank you guys enough for your comments. You have no idea how much they mean to me and how much I've really enjoy reading them. So if you feel called to, please leave a comment. I love hearing from everybody. You guys are amazing. And thank you so much for being here. So I am going through a lot of work with my ego, working on letting it run and do its thing. And as stuff is falling apart in front of me, being okay with it and being of a higher vibration. There's a great story that I heard today and I'm going to kind of paraphrase it and sarify it, sarify it, sarify it, sarify it, <laughs> say that three times fast. And I'm just going to jump into it and I'll explain it afterwards. So there was this woman, an elderly woman walking through the forest and she came across a stream and in the stream, she found this beautiful gemstone and she held onto it and she was walking along and she came across a traveler. And this traveler was talking to her and saw this precious gemstone and was just like, oh my gosh, that, that gemstone is absolutely beautiful. Like, can I have it? And the woman was just like, here, it's all yours. And the, the person took this gemstone and, you know, brought it back to his home. And, you know, it, apparently it was appraised and it was worth a lot of money. And the people were just like, you know, oh my gosh, you could sell this and everything, all of your dreams will come true and you'll have all of this money to pay for everything and anything that you could have ever wanted. And the person was like shocked about all of this. And a couple of days later, he wandered back out into the woods and found the same woman and walked up to her and wanted to return the stone and the woman was just like why why are you returning this to me and he was saying this stone it could literally make all of my dreams come true however i want whatever was inside you that caused you to give me the stone and i heard that story and i was like whoa <laughs> i want whatever she's having and for you know a long time <laughs> I've been working on finding that feeling because it is a feeling and it's not something that you do. It's just who you are. And I've been coming up against a lot of egoic things and I've gotten through a lot of the bullshit stuff, the stuff that I thought mattered to me, like the statuses and needing to show up a specific type of way or be a specific type of person. And now my ego and this, you know, the rest of this crap that needs to come up is going after the things that really matter to me, which are my animals. It knows that I love my dogs more than anything in this entire world. And during the day, it's pretty all right because it's bright outside. I'm thinking, you know, with my heart, I'm going places, doing things that I love to do, going up to ride Abigail on my horse. Um, going to the coffee shop, going for hikes with my dogs, going for walks with my dogs and just really enjoying my time. And then nighttime rolls around and then that's when the monsters in my head 
like to come out and they like to scare me and they say, oh, Charlie has cancer. Oh, Bailey's losing weight. She's getting older and something bad's going to happen to her and you won't be able to save her. So what do I do? I go on to my herb websites and I buy my dogs all of these different types of herbs because I'm trying to prolong their life. Or I throw them on. I have um, uh, pulse electronic magnetic frequency pads, PEMF, that increases blood circulation. I have it for myself and for the horses. I have different pads for the horses and I stick my dogs on it and I'm like, you guys sit there because I need to extend your life. And I keep asking, you know, myself, I'm like, but why are we so concerned about this? We know <laughs> that everything happens in divine timing. Everything happens in divine timing. It's so literal. I had something literally 13 minutes ago, 13 minutes ago exactly, happened to me. I was on the phone with my best friend and I was thinking to myself, oh, 10 o'clock, I have to go because I really would like to record a video for today. I'm feeling really good and I really want to want to connect with you guys. It's, it's been a minute since I've been able to be consistent with you guys. And I'd like to be more consistent again. And I was like, I got to go at 10 o'clock. And she was talking and she was kind of going off on a, a tirade like she usually does. And I thought nothing more of it. I was like, all right, you know, as soon as she's done with this, like I'll start saying that I have to go. And then... At 10 o'clock, I heard the cuckoo clock go off and a chime went off on my computer. The call dropped. And I was like, what just happened? <laughs> and I was like, and I, I just tried, I, I tried calling her back and uh, she didn't pick up. And the phone went right to voicemail. I was like, oh my God, her phone died exactly at 10 o'clock. So, divine timing, anybody? Any takers? Divine timing. I know and I trust the process. I've been trusting the process like full send, hardcore for the past year. And it has led me to being super broken down, not knowing who I am. No one has ever seen the real me. Everyone has always seen versions of myself that people think I'm supposed to be. And more of the authentic Sarah Rusk she is a mythological creature. She's a, a funky beast, if you will. Um, she's starting to learn how to make an appearance in this everyday life, this reality. Not the egoic Sarah that has been running the show for the past 30 and a half years. And it's terrifying because we've hit some of the hardcore parts. The, the parts that are guarding my heart. And that are not allowing me to seriously fully surrender to the God that I am, to the divine that I am, to connecting with this all that there is, that there is, because that's all that there is, is this infinite void. <laughs> you are me, I am you. Isn't there, there's a Beatles song, there's like a cuckoo chew and a walrus in there, something like that. <laughs> a squirrel. <laughs> so friend, that is currently where I'm at. And there's a great mantra. There's a woman named Sonia Croquette, I think. A really good friend Tarek sent me a video by her the other day. And there is a quote that she said that I love and I have it in my bathroom mirror right now. And it's not, it's not a quote. It's a mantra that she says every single morning. And it's now a, a mantra that I'm going to be saying every single morning because I absolutely love it. And it is divine spirit within me. Move me this day to my highest good. Move my mind move my mouth, move my body, move me in the direction of my highest good. And I am now living my life through that lens with that filter, that of the highest good. To not see this world as needing to be fixed, but rather being of service to those who need what it is that I have to offer. And it's fantastic because it's a really gentle energy and it's not like a constricting energy. It's not a, I have to do this thing. I have to make these videos. I have to be here. I have to be a good friend. I have to be a good person. No, how can I help you? What can I do to serve you? How can I serve you in the best way possible? Coming at it with that energy, it completely gets rid of any constriction or restriction that is around me and it's very freeing and I'm very excited for what is to come especially as I keep feeling better and better there's 
a great talk that my podcasting boss from Positive Head did. The episode is coming out tomorrow. Technically, yes, today, Wednesday. Today's Tuesday right now. We're jumping time all over the place here right now. He did a, an interview with Marina Jacoby, who has communicated with extra extraterrestrials and other entities from other timelines and such. And I've heard her talk before because she was on Beyond Belief, um, a program on Gaia. And bits and pieces of what she said completely rang true to me. And I was like, this makes a lot of sense. This makes so much sense to me. And there's one thing in particular that she said last night that I wrote down because it really stuck with me. And it has to do with our frequencies and our vibrations. And I know we've heard this rehashed so many times. Sometimes things get said to me so much that I just get numb to it. I'm still working on that belief and trying to undo that paradigm and that pattern that keeps running in my brain. But she said that in order to stay in this higher consciousness, we have to stay tuned. You know, our bodies have to be feeling really good. And I'm finally getting to that spot where my body is feeling really good. Really funny when you start, you know, wanting to improve something, other doors start opening. My mom told me the other day that she rejoined um, a gym near us. And she was like, oh, I put you on the membership. And I was like, oh, sweet. And they have yoga classes there. And I've wanted to take yoga classes too. I actually was talking to um, my horse trainer about that on Friday, last Friday. She said she would want to get back into yoga. And I was like, I haven't really taken any classes before. I would love to try it. And then a couple of days later, my mom's like, oh yeah, by the way, <laughs> here you go. So really funny when things line up like that. But what Marina had said was we have to tune ourselves and hold that frequency and that vibration and so say you want abundance you have to hold that frequency and that vibration of abundance and if something happens that causes you to get out of whack you have to it's kind of like a tuning fork you kind of have to hit the tuning fork again and then get retuned and retune yourself or if you hold a note on a piano and eventually you know that note kind of fades out you have to hit that note again so if you fade out hit that note again and I know that that's easier said than done because I know that I've had that said to me so many times like oh just hold the frequency and then you get the thing for some reason it finally clicked with me this time around and the way in which she said it really made sense to me it's a really great episode it's coming out it's episode number 1916 for Positive Head Podcast. They're one of the top rated spiritual podcasts uh, on Apple Podcasts on iTunes or something like that. I don't know if iTunes is still a thing anymore. <laughs> um, but when you want something, if you're not feeling abundant, retune yourself to abundance. If you want to be in a relationship, you have to be healthy yourself to attract whatever it is that you're putting out there. Um, besides that, you uh, hit that chord on being in a relationship, that job that you really want, hit that chord on being in a job and holding true to it. And no matter what is happening, you have to be almost delusional. Even if you can't see it, you got to keep acting it. You got to keep being it because eventually you're going to hop those timelines and get to where it is that you want to be. And it's going to happen a lot faster than you think if you just let go. Trust me on that one. Keep working on yourself. I know this shit gets so hard. I know some days it's so hard to show up. But then something comes along and it throws you a life preserver. And it saves you for a little bit until you can get find that ship that's really going to come and save your life. That's why I feel like these the, the parasite cleanse and the coffee enemas were my life preserver or even a life vest. It got me afloat. I was drowning. I was 100% drowning though. In Navy SEAL training, they teach you when you go into the water and you're drowning, immediately let yourself sink so you can hit the bottom so then you can come back up. You stop fighting. <laughs> I stopped fighting for a little bit and then I got my life preserver, which was the coffee enemas and the parasite cleanse. And now the big ship that's in front of me that is going to come and really rescue me is meditation. And in meditation, that's when everything is going to come together and click. And that is where I will then become the woman who's able to give out this precious stone, which is 
the wisdom and knowledge that gets bestowed to me, upon me, through me, in me, with me, something like that. <laughs> over here, over there. So that way then I can give it to you, friend. I'll give you all the shiny rocks that I got. I got a lot of really pretty shiny ones. I got this little pretty shiny rock. <laughs> uh, I don't think this is worth very much. I think this was like 25 bucks, but still, you get the point. Friend, thank you so much for being here with me today. I am so happy that you are here and you're hanging out with me. If you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button, if you haven't already, I would greatly appreciate it. And please leave me a comment. I love reading these comments. They really, they make my day. They seriously, you have no idea how much joy reading your comments brings me. It's awesome. Love yourself no matter what. And just promise me you'll keep singing. Okay, friend? <laughs>